Hey, it's Dr. Ron. I just want to talk to you today about goitrogens. What are goitrogens? Uh, goitrogens are foods that affect the thyroid. And uh, I think this has been taking a little bit out of context. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there's a, there's a huge misconception. Um, I had a few patients come up to me and told me that, hey, my endocrinologist uh, says that, you know, there's certain foods that affect the thyroid and to stay away from, you know, broccoli and cruciferous vegetables and cassava and sweet potato and stuff like this. And so, you know, I, I have a big of a problem with this recommendation is because um, <clears throat> if we take away the cruciferous vegetables, then we're taking away a huge part of the fiber that's needed for anti-inflammatory effects. We're taking away a huge detoxing factor from these cruciferous vegetables that's actually beneficial for our body overall. So where did this recommendation come from? Why did it start in the first place? Well, let's, let's talk about what goitrogens are. Goitrogens are foods such as broccoli <clears throat> and leafy greens and cassava that uh, deactivate the thyroid enzyme, for, or the thyroid hormone rather, from, uh, from uh, activating in our bodies. Sort of. Um, first of all, you would have to consume a very large quantity of these goitrogens in raw form. So if you're lightly steaming your broccoli, and I do say lightly because you, if, you, if you steam it or you cook it for too long at high temperatures, you do deactivate a lot of the phytonutrients and the anti-inflammatory properties that are good for you. So if you lightly steam the broccoli, <clears throat> then it's not really a problem. And if you lightly steam the vegetables and cook um, the cassava, it's not really a problem. Um, but we want to incorporate these cruciferous vegetables, even though they're considered goitrogens, we still want to include these in our diet because the, the, the beneficial effect is absolutely huge. And so when I hear people say that, hey, my doctor told me to avoid stuff like broccoli and cruciferous vegetables and leave the recommendation at that, well, what do they, people tend to eat? They tend to eat junkier foods. They tend to eat um, starches and sugars. They, they tend to go more towards uh, a bunch of omega-6 fats like meats. They tend to go towards sugars. So yeah, their recommendation is, hey, stay away from vegetables, but they're, if they're eating all these inflammatory substances, these inflammatory substances can make the thyroid activation much worse for our body. And so, you know, take things with a grain of salt. When, when we talk about these foods that affect the thyroid, um, go ahead and consume them. Go ahead and consume the cruciferous vegetables. Go ahead and eat your broccoli to your heart's content. Give it a light steam. Give it a, a, a just cooking just very lightly. Um, don't microwave them, by the way. I'm not a big proponent of microwaving uh, any cruciferous vegetables because it does significantly deactivate the beneficial effects of them. But go ahead and steam them lightly and, and, and eat it. You know, you don't have to be afraid of it. What you should be afraid of are the processed foods and the starches and the, and the, and the sugars and the processed carbohydrates that, you know, come from other foods that affect our body hormonally, not just the thyroid, but affecting our insulin levels and insulin resistance. But unfortunately, uh, a, a blanket statement of just avoiding these cruciferous vegetables and avoiding broccoli is not the best recommendation. Now, we really have to individualize our approach. And so, what are some of the, the best things to do for low thyroid in terms of eating? Yeah, go ahead and have these vegetables. Please have these vegetables. They're good for you. They have a detoxing effect. And most commonly, uh, thyroid issues are coexisting with something else that, may, that um, is going to be beneficial when you eat these cruciferous vegetables as well. So if you have any questions, please comment in below. In fact, tell me where you're watching from. I would love to know where you're watching from. And then I will try to answer the questions as best as I can. Okay? Thanks a lot.